I'm going to export this Godot project to iOS uh, Xcode project and build it for Mac. First I want to do uh, is to open project settings and you can change this name of the project w without having those special characters. Maybe they would prevent it from building. Maybe they won't, just in case. Um, after that, you need to assign um, that preset to export. So when you press export, it's empty. So you need to add a new preset, uh, which is iOS. Then you can assign another name. And by default, your Apple team ID is not your email here. I can find it in my on my on my page on developerapple.com and after you assigned it you need to assign a name a correct name which should be something your domain name and your app name because this app I downloaded as an example I didn't make it so let's call it flat for Mer. and we don't change anything here right now and the next step is to assign those icons so I created some icons here you just assign them let me see one 120 120 is around 40 times 3 so it should be this one okay 76 Mm, it's already pre-existed. Pre -existed. This is for App Store, the biggest one. Then 180 is around 90 times 2, but we don't have it here. Maybe it's 60 times 3. Then 152 is around 76 times 2, I think. Then 167 is around... <laughs> It's around 83.5 times 2. <laughs> then we have 40, which is 20 times 2. Or just this one, it's the same. And 80, the last one, the last required icon to build a project. Oh, yo, yo, I made a mistake. So it should be here. No, wait. Wait a moment. I need. This one, that's right. So I said <laughs> it was a daunting task, but you have to you have to fill it, fill it in. And then we can export the project. Let's put it into a specific folder. Let's create a different folder, which is iOS. And let's call it platformer. Just set short. Okay. Okay, now we can go to that folder. And under that folder, if you open it, it will kind of work. It will seem to work right now. But you won't be able to... Actually, if you write the wrong team ID, it won't be able to open. It will say that file is corrupted. And that was the first mistake I ran into. But for this one, if you try to compile, it won't work. Mm, but I need to change that platform for that is a physical device. It should be better in recognizing those things. I mean, when you try to build an um, ER, oh, actually, I succeeded. But sometimes, what you need to do for, for instance, for my local Mac, if I try to run, and it will succeed. But sometimes, for when you open it the first time, you'll see that signing certificate doesn't right. It doesn't seem to be right. It would be none. It would be set to none. So to fix that, it's not just enough to re-enable it, which sometimes works. But in that case, to make it, you need to go to build settings and search for uh, search for. Let me see. Maybe I'll find it here. 
assign that keyword and here which is very important it should be like this because by default it's empty here it's empty and this is apple development ios developer so it should be set the second field in any ios sdk should be set uh, to ios developer that is very important because of it, very crucial after you change it it will change it automatically here uh, in signing in capabilities you'll see your signing certificate which is the requirement to build those apps so thanks for watching i hope it was helpful because for me it was a daunting task i spent several hours to make it work and for the first time i exported it it didn't work because i didn't write the, the right team id i wrote my email instead and it said your let's let's try to reproduce it anyway now i have it up and running and you see it's running yeah and he, when the first time here if you if you change this let me see here if i change it like this uh, if we change that setting um where is my setting id to be here development team okay so if I set my development team to send an email, okay, and I try to open, like I've done the first time, it will say that your project is damaged. <laughs> you cannot open it, you parse error. So it was very hard to uh, to fix this error without knowing what is development team ID. So we should be aware of it. And, and one more time, thanks for watching. Thank you.